in there that Stacy was a whore. Somebody yelled that. He came in, I was asking Spencer, he came in to the courtroom, Stacey Moskowitz was a whoa, Stacey Moskowitz was a whoa. That's what Berkowitz said. That's right, and I stood up and I called him a bastard, and then Robbie got up and said some other words. We just asked Mrs. Moskowitz to step back, she wants to compose you. Going back in? Yes, I am. I wouldn't miss it for the world. And I'd still give 10 years off my life to see that animal burn. At this particular moment, I'd lay down right now and die, just to see him, for one, five minutes to see him burn, and I'll lay down and die. Because he's nothing but an animal. And when people like that can control other people and let them wait all kinds of time, I mean, what happened to the Dillinger system? They didn't wait for him. They shot him in cold blood. And what makes him better than anybody else, any other criminal or animal in mass murder? And I'd like to know what half of these people would do or say had they been in my shoes and lost a child. The people like snicker about me and anything else i don't give a damn what they say about me but they will not touch my daughter her memory's going to stay the way it was and that was clean and pure and i'm sorry if i sound very abrupt but that's exactly how i feel so, uh, she just had a very very uh trying experience so really it would just okay. I, understand I'll be I, I just later. wanted to find out what what uh, went out of there so i'm kind of close Court has adjourned. I'm with uh, the mother of Stacy Moskowitz and Milt Lewis. Milt, first of all, can you tell me what went on? Yes, there is no sentencing today, Bill. It's been put over till June 12th. A little while ago, they brought Berkowitz into court. Manical. There were four guards surrounding him. And he let out an outburst. And I hate to say this in front of the girl's mother, but he shouted, Stacy was a whore. Stacy was a whore. This was done in open court. At which point, Bob Violante, who was with your daughter that night, shouted, I'll kill you, you creep. At which point, Berkowitz said, I'll do it again. I'll do it again. And didn't you say something, Mrs. Berkowitz? Moskowitz, don't ever call me Berkowitz. I'm, I'm sorry, Mrs. Moskowitz, I'm very sorry. Didn't yeah. you say something, Mrs. What Moskowitz? Was it you yes, said? I did. I called him a bastard. Did you also call him an animal? Yes, I did. All right. Now, what, what is your feeling that this has been delayed now? You'll have to speak to my lawyer, Mrs. Ben, uh, Mr. Later. Well, all right, right up. Excuse me. Uh, here's, here's Bob, Bob Violante, Violante, yes. Here, like this. That's all right. Bob, yes. I understood you to say, I'll kill you, you creep. Didn't you say that to Berkowitz? Yes, I did. All right. What are your feelings right now? I have got tremendous hostility inside of me, and uh, I'm very disturbed with the adjournment. I feel it's a total waste of time. And it was just a, it's just a game what he did by calling Stacy what he what he said about her. Mr. Violante, how do you feel about that? Well, I, I feel in uh, complete accord with my son because I feel that uh, this can go on indefinite, and uh, we feel that justice should be served in, at the immediate time, not to be prolonged, but this piece of garbage to be able to get away with this kind of tactics. 
And is I'm it very disturbed about it. Is it your feeling that justice will not be served? I feel that justice will be served, but it's about time we served it. Not to prolong the law. Now, one more thing. Bobby, who is that young man sitting in your row, I believe, who, who shouted, justice must be done, enough of this stuff? Uh, he was a friend of the family's. Very concerned. Right. Do you think this will go forward on June 12th? Uh, I do, but I just hope this will be the last time that they'll be able to delay something like this. I think it's about time that they finally started uh, getting uh, underway with this case. You must have been, Bob Violante, you must have been in agreement with the Bronx DA, Mario Marola. 100%. When he Completely. said, in effect, in effect, he didn't use the word, but in effect, he said a charade. Oh, it's 100%. I agree with him 100%. And he wanted the sentencing to go forward right now. I just, like I say again, I agree with him 100%. I think it's about time. I think we want to go a little more fill in because sure. the Brooklyn right. DA went along with it. I want to find out what went on, what, what, the, what the mood was in the court. The mood, uh, I have never seen anything like this of a defendant being brought in and such an outburst. And for the DA agreed, the Brooklyn DA agreed with the defense counsel, put this over to June 12th. And the judge pointed out, as recently as the 18th, which is about uh, four days ago, a psychiatrist whom he identified as Dr. Schwartz found this man fit for sentence. Oh, there was one other bit, Bill, which, which was uh, fascinating. It seems that the psychiatrist asked, remember hearing this? The psychiatrist asked David Berkowitz, what do you intend to do when you get into court? Correct. And he said, and there was an expression on his face, according to the psychiatrist. Yes, I do. His eyes lit up. And then he was asked, what do you intend to say or do? And he said, I won't tell you. Do you remember that? Yes, I do. Bobby, you were whispering in my ear a moment ago. You wanted to say something more. Uh, yes, I did. I just want to speak also, not as Robert Violante, but uh, as a special advisor to the Crime Victims Rights Organization. And uh, I'd like to speak for my organization that we, we are doing everything in our power to be able to get the death penalty done and to make the people and the, and the government realize that it's about time that people start worrying about the victims and stop worrying about the criminals all the time. How has life been for you since it happened to you about a year ago? Uh, it's, been, it's been a little rough. It's been rough, but uh, I'm, I'm handling the situation. Uh, I feel pretty good now. I'm, just, I'm starting to get myself together and... Uh, I'm just trying to live my life again normally. That's why I can't wait for this case to be completely over with and I'll start to live my life normally again. Probably one other thing. Somebody said in court, and this may be all wrong, that the young man that was sitting near you or in your aisle who said that justice must be done, you remember, and he, in effect, uh, orally attacked the judge. Somebody said that he uh, knew uh, Stacy. Did he know her at all, do you know? Uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm not sure if you ever knew Stacy. Uh, but he's your friend. He's a friend of our families and the Moskowitz family. Also. I see. Where is he now? I really don't know. I think they, I think they told him to leave the courthouse. Mm -hmm. Bobby, no, I wanted to ask you, what about Berkowitz? What was, what was he like in the court? Well, Berkowitz was came in, and he looked like a wild man. If I can demonstrate, his arms were like that. There were two sets of cuffs on him. There must have been six correction officers escorting him in, and he came in, looked like a bull. And the moment he came in, halfway in the well, he said what I said before. I right. quoted him as saying before. Yeah, right. Were, were, you, were you aware in there that, that he apparently attempted to jump out of a, w a window on this Well, floor? the unofficial word is, and this I cannot vouch for, is this. He reportedly, and I emphasize the word reportedly, bit two correction right. officers up on the 10th floor. Beg pardon? Uh, court, I'm sorry, court officers. Court what officers. happened to the two court officers, by the way? Where were they bit? I'd say, all right, there you are, you have corroboration from a court officer that two of his colleagues were bitten, were on the arm or where? I, I don't know. All right. But now, what was, it, was, his, was his attitude, you say, that of a wild man? Was oh, he out attitude? of control and that's why it was no, adjourned? I'm, because he was not able to, right. to be sentenced today emotionally, right? As far as the defense counsel was concerned, this is a sick man. Yeah, right. And this uh, he, went a long way toward proving the contention. Th this is their contention, just as they said right along that they were going to appeal this whole bit on the grounds of the psychiatrists are wrong. When the, he pled guilty two weeks ago today, the two defense lawyers made it eminently plain in open court. This is being done over our violent objection. This man, they maintain, is not fit to enter a plea. Right, the defense lawyers say, defense lawyers say that. And in a, today they said, 
in words of substance, this proves what we have said. And then they asked for a fresh psychiatric report. And a new psychiatrist, other than Dr. Schwartz, and I'm quoting now, will examine him now. And he presumably will be going back to Kings County, Kings County Hospital Psychiatric Division, and he will undergo further tests. The interesting thing is, Milton, that just before the, the session began, one reporter who had been covering this story up until this point said there was palpably less tension today than there was before. That's well, right. he and all the rest of us who expected this to be rather a cut and dried affair uh, were all wrong. You're trying to say something, Bill. Like tell by yeah. What I want. <laughs> do you remember, Bill, before court opened, what I was told by a source I cannot identify? Right, yes, that something unusual. Was that going something to most unusual was going to happen. And when I said to that source, "Is he going to try to withdraw his plea?" He said, "Don't put me on a spot." Well, I'm not going to put him on yes, a spot. He did not withdraw his plea. But in any case, summing up what has happened. Except I want to say this, Bill, if I may. Yeah. He did not want to enter any plea today. That was made very plain from what we're told. In, in a backroom conference. Well, in any case, what has happened at the state Supreme Court building here in New York, to, uh, here in Brooklyn today, rather, uh, is, was su a surprise to most of the people who came here uh, this morning to cover the story. Uh, the case has been adjourned, the sentencing has been adjourned until June 12th. So what had been expected today, that is to three 25-year-to-life uh, sentences uh, for the uh, murders of uh, six people, the Son of Sam murders, did not happen. Uh, it, it, is a, it apparently uh, is because uh, David Berkowitz is not um, fit in on whatever level, emotional or mental or physical, to be sentenced today. He did not want to be sentenced. In, in whatever way he accomplished it, he got his way, and it will now be June 12th before the sentencing of David Berkowitz for the Son of Sam murders uh, occurs. Any final thought, Milton? A uh, final thought is that this is going to give credence to what a great many people said right along. They said... Uh, Psychiatrist maybe uh, should not have the last word. Though I should point out, it's the judge who makes the final yes, decision. The recommendation of the, the yeah, that's the, right. The psychiatrist. Uh, he is not bound by any psychiatrist report. And I got the definite impression from what George, Judge Corso said, Kings County Supreme Court. He wants a whole new whole set, new ball game. a whole yeah. new ball game. And, uh, and one might I'm, assume I'm, then that it would be postponed past June 12th because a psychiatric examination takes a long time. Conceivably, that's well, right. In any case, we're going to wrap it up here. This is Bill Butel with Milt Lewis at the State Supreme Court building in Brooklyn uh, for Eyewitness News, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.